Pablo Lopez joining me now and before we get into this Pablo thanks for taking the time to be with us congratulations on the opening day not I'm sure it was a little bit of a whirlwind when you got traded from Miami but here you are as the starter for the twins on opening day how does that sound no no it sounds it sounds great you know it obviously makes me super happy like you say like when I got traded, a lot of emotions, a lot of things going on. And certainly being the opening day starter was not one of those things in my mind. I just wanted to make sure to let the Minnesota Twins that uh, my main priority was winning and to show them how I take my preparation very seriously, how I try to just help as much as I can, absorb as much information as I can, and just really appreciate all the feedback, take advantage of the resources. So being the opening day, opening day starter was not something in my mind. So it kind of caught, caught me off guard when they told me and obviously I could not be any happier you know I'm part of this amazing rotation where any guy would have been deserving of the uh, being the opening day starter but I just I could not be any more grateful and thankful for the opportunity and you know ever, ever since I joined the Twins I've been so happy and this just encourages me even more to just uh, keep showing up to let them know that I'm trying my everything to help as much as I can. You have a smile that is infectious, and it hasn't stopped since you arrived in Minnesota. Now, the last two seasons, you were the starter for the second game, right behind Sandy Alcantara. After the first time through, it really doesn't matter. But opening day matters, and it's such a special moment. What do you think will go through your head as you prepare and you warm up in the bullpen? Yeah, like you said, after the first time through, uh, your main focus is just to get the ball every five games and do your job. But I do think opening day, especially, especially being my first time, is going, going to be extremely special. I think uh, the entire ceremony when they're announcing the lineups, everyone lines up and they go through the names and all that. So I think I'm going to be, obviously, when I get on the mound, even for my warm-ups, I'm just going to be thinking of getting loose for the game. But I know the moment I step out of the dog, I'll walk into the outfield, playing catch in the outfield. I'm just going to try to soak it all in. Because, you know, like, um, you only get to, you only get your first opening day, opening day start one time. So I'm going to make sure that I soak it all in, cherish it as much as I can. And obviously, when I get on that mound, it's game on. When you get in between the lines, it's about execution and just try to do my job. You know, prepare as much as I can. It's a new division for me, so I need to get more familiar with it. And But then, obviously, the job remains the same. Execute your execute my pitches. Try to uh, give my team the best opportunity to win a ball game, and just trying to remain unpredictable as a starter, so I can go as deep as I can. Yeah, you go from the NL East to the AL Central, and you know when I first heard about the trade, Pablo, I was like, "Whoa, they're getting rid of Luis Arise," and then I was like, "Wait a minute, they're also getting Pablo Lopez." And I know that you had an opportunity to, to play with Luis uh, for Team Venezuela in the World Baseball Classic. Tell me a little bit more about that experience, and also how it made you want to elevate your game because you were traded for such a high-quality player. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I I was very aware what the Minnesota Twins uh, traded to get me and the other two guys. You trade, uh, they traded the uh, reigning AL batting champion, and you know I played with Luis in the minor league, so I could tell that he was you know like something special. But then obviously after playing with him in the WBC, I can tell why you know the fans uh, had some so many great things to say, and he will be greatly missed. You know, great player, even a better person. So I really. I, I was very, I was looking forward very much to um, getting to know him, uh, share the same locker room with him for a couple of days a week. So I, I think we hit it up well. Obviously, we had a lot of things to talk about. You know, I asked him questions about how he liked the Marlins. He asked me questions how I liked the Twins, and I know we hit it up good. And it was one of those uh, great relationships that came uh, from participating in the WBC. But like you mentioned, uh, they traded away the AL champion to bring me. So that just, just that. And uh, gave me the encouragement to know that uh, the Minnesota Twins see something in me. They see something that can help them win as many games as they can. And it's my job and my duty to show up and then just uh, live up to that, uh, that expecta those expectations. You know, I raise the bar to myself every day to make sure that I try to be the best, best version of myself. You know, I'm not competing against anybody. My only competition is myself uh, five days ago. And then just go from there, take it one pitch at a time, try to remember that I can only control what I can control and then just enjoy my enjoy my time. You know, uh, this is a great it's a great group of men that are hungry to win a championship, to win many, many ball games. And, you know, like it's fun to show up to this clubhouse knowing that we have such a great opportunity to win um, to win the whole thing. 
Now let's talk about the Twins a little bit because you look at the Twins in the division and you're thinking, okay, they have a, have a decent shot. Of course, the Guardians win the division last year. Chicago was very hurt uh, up and down that lineup. And, and the Twins didn't achieve exactly what they wanted to. What gives you the most excitement about the 2023 season with this club? Yeah, I would say the number one thing is how hungry we are. I think obviously the Twins, the last couple of years, they made a lot of noise in the NL, in the AL Central. And then the way that last season went, I can really tell that the guys felt uh, we could have done a much better job. And I think we really uh, are thinking about it that way for this year. You know, we're hungry. We're about to let everyone know what the um, Minnesota Twins um, represent in the AL Center. We're going to try to dominate. And I think that's just like, that's just, it's very infectious. You know, I show up with a team that's hungry to win and um, it just, I don't know, it makes me want to get better. It makes me want to be the best version of myself. And I think you look at our lineup, it's such a deep lineup. You know, there's not many holes. There's not many opportunities for other pitchers to take a pitch off. And, you know, the, the defense behind me is going to be, it's going to be a show. It's going to be a movie, you know. It's going to make me, it's going to make my job easier, much simpler just to challenge guys, uh, force them to swing the bat, force them to swing the ball in play. You know, the seven guys behind me, they're going to make all the plays for me. The guy, the guys behind the play, you know, they're, they're going to call the right pitches so I think that kind of line is going to be fun to watch and the defense behind me I know it's going to be also fun to watch and they're going to make all the great plays all the routine plays and that makes my job a lot easier just challenge guys yeah you have a lot of faith in your teammates and they obviously have a lot of faith and confidence in you named the opening day starter for the Minnesota Twins against the Kansas City Royals a few years after making your debut on June 30th of 2018 you faced Jacob deGrom and you beat him five to two congratulations on the nod Pablo we appreciate your time good luck thank you very much thanks for having me